Hey, muddle workers, it's your psychedelic Bob Ross with the Bob Ross swag going on. Happy little trees. Oh, yeah. Hey, so, yeah, so um, it's our ReaperCon Day 2, and it's actually technically ReaperCon Day 3, but we missed the first day because we were driving the Hell Drive. It was like the Death Race with a lot less death and a lot more Red Bull. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, so if you're at ReaperCon, you can look for the bright pink hair because I forgot my purple hair dye, so I can't reapply it. So now I have cotton candy pink hair again. I think I'm going to go green and see if I can manage to make green go pink because, you know, fuck color theory. All right, so ReaperCon is, um, is uh, going off real cool. If you hear some ramblings in the background, it's my squirrel right here. Because uh, I Wes, he's uh, my best bud from middle school. Not even high school, middle school, old school. But anyway, so I'm going to go through some of the quick stuff that I actually got at ReaperCon on my day one. Um, I think I spent, actually I did really good. I only spent like 250 bucks. Um, so I'm doing really good. Yeah, I'm doing real good. Only 250 Today, <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. So, alright, so most of my purchase came in, uh, came in a single purchase. And it was this. It's an original Jessica Rich picture. She actually dropped. I didn't buy this at ReaperCon. I bought it before. It's another original from Jessica Rich. I, uh, she dropped it off for me today. There's an original that she had. She had it hidden away, and I was like, give me. So sorry, folks, that are looking for uh, Jessica Rich artwork. She has no originals, but she's working on a really cool Fox piece. You bite me. He <laughs> salty. All right, so this is some of the stuff we actually actually get in the swag bag. You get uh, the mouseling. You get a miniature from Dark Sword, the Sophie. Uh, this is the faction mini. Like, you pick a faction when you get your badge, and you get the mini that corresponds. Oh, no, this is it. And then this is one that you get in everything. You also get a really cool wooden D20. That was badass. A little pad, you get three Reaper Master Series paints, and they look really cool. I'm really digging this uh, this clear green right here. I really like it. It has a turquoise look to it. All right, so announcement, Bones 5, October 1st. You have been warned. Put up your shekels because, uh, yeah, Bones 5 is coming. And I'll try to take some pictures of the, uh, of the uh, Masters that they have up at ReaperCon. And... I don't know yeah, so stickers, pizza dungeon dice, of course, <laughs> cowabunga dude, um, Reaper Buck stuff, you get a little mimic in there, a bottle of Steinal Res from Badger, um, awesome stuff if you're here, buy it, you get a whole bunch of stickers, some of these I've picked up, some of them that were in the bag, picked up, in bag, in bag, picked up, this is over at Fort Wapple, in bag, oh, you get a little plane as well, <laughs> whole bunch of books. This is a gift that I got from Jessica Rich because she sold the original and I really liked it. Heart you, Jess. I bought this. Oh, no, actually, um, this was my pickup from uh, one of the Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. Midnight Heroes Kickstarters. So I snagged this because it's one of my favorite dudes from there. It's a chibi bust. Outstanding. Um... I haven't looked at these yet, but they're the Pizza Dungeon Dice. They were in the VIP bag, which we missed, but they had some of the extra dice sets for sale, so I picked up two, one for myself, one for Kim. Outstanding. Also, picked up uh, a book, two, a couple books from Kathleen White. She's an author that's here at ReaperCon. She's super, super cool, and I like the premise of the books. So, and it took two years to write each book, so I'm actually looking forward to reading these because it translates, it's probably not going to be rushed. Then, I, this is one of the purchases I made. The original, most of the money I spent was actually on the original Jessica Rich, but I did pick up the new Super <coughs> Chibi um, paint set from Midnight Heroes. I got to work with them a little bit yesterday, and uh, yeah, actually really kind of dug it. It was um, some nice stuff. It went on. It was like a two-layer paint. You got to put two or three little layers on, and everything worked out fine. And yeah, really like this stuff. So I bought the entire line. It's forty bucks for like seventeen bottles. 
uh, 12 mil droppers, so they're a little smaller than what you're used to, but it's Jeez. fine. They're for chibis, you know, so they're small. Um, then my patron and my one of my good, good buds, James, actually was able to get me the Dungeon and Doggos because at the time when it came out, I missed it. So I now have the Dungeons and Doggo, Doggies, I, Doggos, and the Kitties and Catacombs when they finally released because I did back that one. So if you're at ReaperCon... Look for me and my tripod of doom because I'll be out there with the voice recorder shooting some stuff for the podcast. I might actually do some live streams talking to people like Jessica Rich and then Brian from uh, Midnight Heroes, Tim from New Way Designs, all that good stuff. So I hope for the folks that are at ReaperCon, you're having a blast. I hope for the folks that are not at ReaperCon, maybe you got to live a little bit through what's going on. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I'm having a blast. If you have not ever been to a ReaperCon, I suggest it. Um, it's it's an interesting experience because it's it's the most relaxed big con I've ever been to, and that's absolutely Keep an amazing. Keep an eye on and uh, yeah, so oh, and this bag is awesome for the conventions. Totally awesome. I have loved it. So everyone, Lightning. peace, have fun, um, enjoy yourself, and if you're at ReaperCon, look for the psychedelic Bob Ross. I'll be waddling around everywhere else. Peace.